Now, inspiring young people to take up sport is one of the London 2012 Olympic legacy plans. And today, a scheme to give 14 to 25 year olds the chance of sport coaching was launched. It's called Sportivate, and it'll be on offer across the West Midlands. Ben Sidwell reports. It's a simple idea giving young people the chance to take part in sports they've never tried before. From fencing to javelin. And then there's this night golf. This session in Nietzsche's today was the first time anyone had played night golf in Birmingham. It's hoped this and other new ideas such as tennis freestyle will attract young people to sports they may not have thought about trying before. We're trying to show that tennis can be played anywhere, uh, that it can be fun and you, you, know, you don't need a lot of training to have fun with the sport and really engage in it. Birmingham has been given almost £800,000 for the four-year Sport of Eight initiative. Similar projects are running across the West Midlands. It's all intended to leave a sporting legacy here long after the London 2012 Olympics have gone. We've got a real opportunity now to ensure that young people, um, the infrastructure of sport, particularly in Birmingham, is sustained and young people will have more opportunities to continue and will have new stars of the future. I think it's good because it gives you a different opportunity to try new sports that I didn't even know existed. So. All you ever hear about is usual stuff like football and rugby and cricket, but nothing like fencing or table tennis. It's a good opportunity to definitely get involved and you know just take, take kids off the street really. One of those taking part today was Jules Adeneran. The Birmingham born athlete is one of the country's best 110 metre hurdlers and is on course for an actual place in the 2012 games. I think it's fantastic. Sport, sport to me, a fantastic array of opportunities, chance to meet people, travel, um, you know, improve my skill set and I really think um, inspiring, motivating youngsters uh, to do, you know, more sport is a fantastic thing. The hope is now, having had a taste of different sports, these youngsters will decide to take them up for real. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.